I'm just checking. Are we ready? Ready. Okay. Yeah. So, ready. hearing that. Chatting. No, no, that's fine. Uh, let it be known that we are recording everything tonight. So, um, I don't see Jeremiah is not here. So, Bruce. Yes. 15 minutes? That's it. Please. Not please come on up. I was. I was waiting. We were, if one other member was coming, I was going to do a tripartite first. So, but you got. We're going to. We were going to go with you first. Okay. Awesome. So, which I, is I've fine. I've got a hearing problem. So, if you, Mike, can I stand up close to the front and I can hear you and you can hear me? Of course Absolutely. you can. It's going yeah. on so long. You're, no, you're, you're, you forget now. I have. <laughs> I have electronic hearing, so I understand. <laughs> well, you certainly know Bruce Wheeler. I'm Brad Latham, um, and first of all, I appreciate the CPC for its support. Mm -hmm. You go through the senior housing rezoning that took place about a year and a half ago, and Danielle also helped us in that process. I also appreciate your willingness to see us on such short notice. Uh, this deals with property 146, 148, and 150 Park Street uh, that is subject to the senior housing overlay. Just to show the scale of this, uh, I have, I've only got one copy of this, I'm sorry, but to show I marked in dark color the three lots that are included in this particular uh, property for the senior housing overlay district. I do that because there's so much of this property behind that's not being right. touched. I want to put that in proper perspective. We also have at this point a uh, site planting plan. And this again is a work in progress. Uh, <laughs> but I'd like to use this for reference purposes if I could as I go through the discussion tonight. And we're here because we are hopefully going to be filing with you within the next uh, 10 days or two weeks. Uh, I know it's been a while since the rezoning took place, but there was a lot to cover and a lot to go over. And so this shows just the portion closest to Park Street uh, on this map. The, the land mass, of course, continues on some distance uh, to the lower right-hand corner. Uh, the orientation of this uh, north is the top, uh, and Park Street is really to the west uh, of the site. I'm going to kind of, if I can, walk around it and describe what's taking place by way of refinements. Uh, the basic concept is the same as it presented at the town meeting and to you folks during the hearing process. Uh, there is, of course, an historic home on the front of the property. <coughs> That's being moved slightly, and the relocation is slightly different from what it was before. It's being the same distance as it's historically been from Park Street, but it's shifting northerly. And that's done for a couple of reasons. First, it's putting it on a new foundation that will preserve the life of this. It's kind of a rubble stone foundation now, which is somewhat precarious. Second, it improves the sight distance of the driveway to and from the site. Uh, the, actually, an existing driveway that's being used and being enhanced. So the, what is shown on here, is in fact a new location as it's proposed to be relocated on the site. Uh, you can see there's ample plantings of vegetation being proposed and we'll be of course identifying those as part of the hearing process and looking for input as to that. Uh, on the northeast side, of course, we have to have emergency access uh, to the sides of the property. I think the code requires access to two sides. Here there's really access to uh, three plus sides uh, as well. Uh, but you see a, a, a hash marked area on the right hand side. Uh, that, those are pervious pavers, so there can be vegetation within those. Uh, on the right hand side, of course, would be on this, it shows some fencing and, and vegetation being proposed. Uh, the cutting around down the other way, I'd like to go down. If you look into you know, the bottom near the fire station, you can see the entrance way and proposing vegetation there, again, in a manner that does not obstruct the site distance, the vehicles entering or exiting the site. Uh, and we've, we've designed this with example parking. Uh, the, you may recall the lower level of this building is parking. So all the uh, residential parking substantially is under the building itself and not be seen publicly. There is a small parking field that's behind a historic home. Uh, that will accommodate the use of the historic home and visit a parking for those uh, visiting for the over 55 community. Uh, one item I did want to state specifically is you come in the driveway and look down to the south to the right 
you'll see there are four parking spaces. The lines aren't there, but that little cutout to the right as you come in is actually too close to the lot line. Uh, it, the zoning says it has to be 20 feet off the lot line. This brings it to probably within 10 feet of the lot line. Uh, we're probably going to have to have relief for that particular aspect of it. Our hope is that you find that that to be an acceptable thing to do to, to help us when we go before the Zoning Board of Appeals. No one's impacted by it. That's, of course, an important item on any zoning variance that's requested. Uh, it's right next to the fire station, and there's vegetation that's really equivalent of 20 feet that's off of that anyway. Uh, that's pretty much it. We wanted to just introduce ourselves again because it's been a while and to indicate that filing is imminent. And if there's any questions you have of us now, or Bruce, we're more than happy to, to answer them, and we hope to see you again in a formal nature in the near future. Dave, I think it, I mean, on the uh, historic house, you mentioned you're not moving it into the same position. You're just gonna go northerly with it, with the new foundation. What was, what was the position of it that we were looking at previously? Sure, it was probably 10 feet farther south and probably about seven or eight feet farther east. Is that a fair categorization? I, I think I was confused by your north. So I, I think that this this is north and that's east. The so legends, east yeah, legends east up there, there yeah. Okay, east, east there. okay. I, uh, I, I, I always thought that. that. Yeah. So, so yeah, it was um, it was a, a little bit further away from the road. Um, is there any reason why? Because I, I, I like that idea because it seemed to have better sighting moving it away yeah. a little bit. I know you know, you can recite what was historically the distance and things like that, but I think around that corner, <laughs> that the, the home right now is so close to the sidewalk, maybe five, six feet away, and just anything more than, than what is there now is great, but I'd like to see what what would be the impacts of going back to what you originally we'll, proposed we'll take a look at that I think, uh, it was and i'm just one person speaking on the board so I'm no i i i <clears throat> making that corner with good site well, vision we have, the, the site distance is <coughs> is fine the way we have it but uh we'll, we'll look into it we we wanted to uh just as far as fitting the septic and uh in and the parking and I get the, it. The you know, home. I definitely so get all, all, all these things sort of um, uh, getting getting meshed right. together. They start to intersect and, yeah. and so converge. We'll, we'll take another look yeah. at it, uh, but it, it's a combination of all those things: fitting the fitting the <coughs> parking, um, and uh, and we we didn't want uh, we didn't want to add any exterior parking. Um, uh, in the buffer zone to minimize the impervious in the buffer zone. So uh, what our, our earlier version had some parking down there. So that also was pushing the, the extra parking that we uh, pulled up front to minimize the impervious in the, in the buffer zone, uh, uh, push the home up. <coughs> uh, but we'll, we'll take a closer look at that. And just a, a question too, is the this is unrelated but to the home is the is the front bump out there with the bay windows and the pediment the kind of arch pediment is that historic to the house in any way it seems like you know you could also achieve what you're looking for if the historical that's the district's that's yeah. Yeah, don't even look at me <laughs> that's the district's uh but say. if you just look at it though <coughs> Mr. Hayden, it, it does it doesn't look like it's yeah, I'm not. I'm not. Well, this may not be, but yeah, I think just, I think the wings are. Maybe. <laughs> I think I it's know, worth I it's worth the conversation because if you're yeah. going to build new foundation, if, if there's like, if there's a foundation, <laughs> if the, you can tell by if there's a foundation under those under those wings, because so that would get you four feet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <clears throat> yeah. That, that, but you know, it's it's a it's a nice building, to, and, and they've saved it and utilized it for as long as I've been in town. Thirty some years. Yeah, yeah. I'm not so, advocating, you know, doing any harm to it. Yeah, no, no. I understand. <laughs> it's I understand. just an opportunity because it's right. going to be jacked two feet off the, off the ground right, right now. And yep. If anything's um, not supposed to be on it historically, it's a, right. that now would be the time. Right. Yep. Any questions? Just curious, the proposed occupancy and the number of spots below the building. I'm sorry. The proposed occupancy for the building and the number. It's going to remain as it is. It's been used for office purposes. Oh no, I'm sorry. The the new the new property. Oh, it's an over 55 senior yeah. housing. Do you like a 
Head count or bedroom count? Uh, 50, the, the, the five zero units. Fifty units. Five and how many units units? To not be more than two bedrooms per unit. Okay. And there's a certain affordable component required by the home. Okay. And how many parking spots below? Uh, there's one point seven five uh, parking spots per uh, per unit. Okay. So wh right. whatever the math is. Um, Eighty-five-ish. Yeah, yeah, eighty-five, something like that. Yeah, okay. just shy of the two, two per. But not everybody has two cars. But some people do have right, two cars. Right, right, right. So the younger, the younger set have the two cars, and that's exactly. And that's that's a good thing to to take into account. You know, having that extra little space for, you know. Yeah. So I have one on the, on that four parking spaces here that is close mm -hmm. to the lot line. Is that a wall that goes around there? Yeah. What there is a retaining wall along that area. So that side is lower right up to begin with, yes. correct? Okay, yeah. that's what I thought. Makes we'll, sense. we'll show you the detail. Yeah, okay. that makes how, sense. how much lower is it? Do you know, off t just off the top of your head. I know it drops off, I don't recall, maybe two feet, is it three feet? Which wall? The drop off uh, right down to this area, the natural drop off. Uh, yeah, the, the, existing, the existing wall? Yeah, it gives some topography from the entrance. Yeah. Yeah. Two or three feet. I forget. I, Probably greater yeah. right at that that uh, you know south east corner. Right at the top. At the top. Yeah. Yeah. And then it'll go then down it, along with then the, it's down with the grade. Right. Yeah. The police station okay. that same ramp. That All right. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm why I'm I'm just trying to wrap my head around that. You know, it doesn't look like to me that it's, it's going to be real detriment to the area to have that little tighter there. You already got a retaining wall right on the edge of the property to maintain the property next door. Mm -hmm. So you're not even going to see those. Most likely, you won't even see those cars. Uh, you're correct. Yeah, and there's been historic cooperation back and forth um, uh, between the, uh, the original owners of this uh, property and uh, in, in the town. On yes. Use. Right. See, this little bump out here, uh, like I know myself, was actually once part of the site. Oh yeah. You know, it was, was right. Yeah. 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 I re I remember that was the that was the the. the Police station building. We During did that. The permitting, when, the, when, when they were doing the permitting, um, uh, they, they uh, worked out a deal to help make to fit in some extra parking right. there. Right. So there's a. Um, I was on that building committee. <laughs> that was, those early meetings were crazy. <laughs> they drew quite a crowd. Yeah. I, I know this will come up when we get the the final plans. But I'm just curious, with the flood zone as close as it is, what what kind of grade change are we looking at? That drops of off property. naturally right at a significant drop off. About 12 feet. The okay. About and is the existing grade for like this back half of the property from staying from that grade or you fill it? Oh no, no, from from uh, from the, the existing grade down to the wetland is about a 12 foot drop off. Okay. And the proposed ele finished same. elevation same. is going to stay at the it's current existing grade? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's the same. Yeah, there's already building back there, there right? That's just well, that. That's a disturbed area. Yeah. 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 It's yeah. all that. This is, we, we don't, so. Uh, we, we don't have the overlay of the existing building and the parking, but it's all, we'll yeah, yeah, this, is, this is right on top of the, the existing building and parking, and it's the same grade. And if you go back 200 years, it's even, it's, it dis, it's disturbed in there also. That was a, yeah, it was a wheel right in a wagon, in a wagon, uh, wagon factory. factory. Yeah, back I was just less concerned about disturbance and curious about what the grade was. Yeah, yeah right, you know, it's, 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 there's, a, there's a huge, there's a huge no, difference. It sounds like you've got a natural it, path it, right there already. It's the, it's the same same elevation in the rear. Okay. Any other questions? I, I like the project. Yeah, I'm I looking too. forward to seeing the I've been seeing the renderings. I thought they were yeah. fantastic. Yeah, they were. They keep with the character of the town. Daniel, so you got anything this. from your end? No, no. Um, okay. Just I'm sure that we'll certainly we'll share with Daniel. Well, yeah, she's gonna she sees it before we do. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much for your time. We appreciate it. Thank, thank you. you. No problem. Thank you. Thank you. For Thanks coming. for coming yeah. in. So we should be filing shortly. I'm All right, great. To, okay. I was actually wondering, and Jane was asking. Yeah, my I wife was asking. So when's that project going to start? Yeah. Right. It's been too long, but it was. Uh, oh yeah. It was a lot of work. If you, it takes yeah. time to do the prep work. Right. It could take as much time to do the prep work as as the construction. Yeah. Do yeah. it right the first time. You know how we are about that. Right. Absolutely. You know. Good. All right. So, well, thanks for working. Thank really yep. No Thank problem. You. Thank you. <laughs> what was that? I want to see this. Let them know. <laughs> oh my God. All right.
Take care. Thank you. All right, what are we doing, Danielle? Yeah, why don't we? You want to start with Eaton Circle? Yes, That's probably the hardest one we have. A new tripartite agreement for you. Right. Um, so we've got a motion. Second. 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 You got a, you got a passion to a motion over there. I don't know, we have to, we can just, we'll discuss it during the, at the motion. All right, Mr. Hayden, I move that the community planning commission vote to accept the August 11th, 2022 report from GM2 Associates, Inc and that the amount of $68,820.13 be established as sufficient to ensure the completion of the Eaton Circle subdivision, previous bond amount of $176,321.75. I second that. I have a motion and a second. Is there any discussion? Dave? Okay. I read over, it was it fine. Still retains the 10%. Yeah, it's got the ten percent in there and all that. Yeah, no, I I trust it. It looks good, and they're using today's they using today's numbers, which right. means well, asphalt is more quickly, expensive so today. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so, all right. So, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Three in favor, and Warren and Jeremiah. Jeremiah, <laughs> Jeremiah are absent. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right, so we have to vote on the tri party also? No. No? Nope. Just sign it. Um, Just sign it? Yeah. Sure. You want to, yeah, watch Devil get him around and you can go do the next. There's three, three yeah, there's three. Three <laughs> signature <laughs> pages. Thank you. And then I'll let you date them, right, Deb? Uh, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Go ahead, Mr. Uh, uh, Mr. Chairman, I move that the Community Planning Commission vote to accept the August 11th, 2022 oh, report from the Inc. that the amount well, of $159,340.88 mm -hmm. yeah. be established as sufficient to ensure the completion of the Shea Lane yeah. subdivision. No, that's why I said Previous that bond amount of $239,520.60. You second that? I have a motion and a second. Is second. there any discussion? Is there any discussion? Is there any discussion? Danielle, how's Shea Lay going? Shea Lay good. going? Good. Um, fine. Did they fix it's that last lot? So the latest on that is just that the problems that are remaining are really specific to the development of that lot. And so what the engineer, the project engineer, sorry, the, the engineer for the development of that site and DCI and I have talked about is um, that DCI will review um, some additional improvements and changes such as increases in the infiltration and like the capacity of the infiltrators and everything um, and the connection of the roof drainage um, but that that's not going to be paid for out of the subdivision like inspection fund that has right. to be something separate so I'm working right now with DCI and with the project engineer to um, get a quote for what that will cost because that will be the homeowner's cost because the way that site is being developed is just what's at issue here yeah, the and not the homeowner actually vision. changed everything on that site from what we reviewed right um, it, 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 it is it's it's different in some ways and, and it can be different in some ways because there's only so much control we have over the development of you know a single family house lot once it's right. released um, but because there are these additional um, you know drainage issues um, they've agreed to work with DCI and Thank goodness. Um, so we're working this out because it, okay. and not everyone is in a hundred percent agreement about what really does need to be done and what needs to be reviewed and what needs to be paid for but one thing that I have made clear is we can't charge this to the subdivision developer any longer because it's not it's it's, it's not, not his, his cost. He did it's it. no longer his yeah, cost. He so. did it right the first time. Right. And they went and changed it and that's a that's an issue. And then that then impacted the neighbors. Right, right. And secondly this bond has nothing to do with that. Absolutely. Absolutely for not. the town, right. you know, that's portions if you will, you know, right. by the developer. So right. yeah. if you notice yeah. there's there's nothing in there about if you look at the bond, there's nothing in there about retention ponds, right? No. Well, not anymore. Well, because because they were yeah. constructed to um, 
according to the plan, and according they function plan, that properly, was, that was, then... They were never bonded, because you have to have that before you, you get... Right, right, you can't even have before it. Before you bond. can bond. Right. They have to be done, because you have to have a roadway. And the drainage and the... Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. So, I understand that's not the issue at hand, but what is the hook for them to do that work? Um, <laughs> no, uh, we really don't. I think if things, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, I it, it is the kind of issue now where with as with any between two, you know, between a new developer and or a, a new single family homeowner and an existing abutter, it would be a private matter if one was doing something to the other's lot and causing excess drainage um, because once it's through the subdivision process and the review process, then what happens after that point is beyond our control, just as if, you know, you did something to your neighbor, you, you know, you regraded and it caused drainage to go into your neighbor's lot. It's, yeah. Um, yeah, it's, a, it's a civil matter at this point. It is. And we're just trying to make it help right. facilitate the solution. Yeah, exactly, exactly, because we're, we're really, we did our due diligence. We, we did everything. When you go back, they go back and look at it. The, there was a plan for all the drainage in there and the plan was all looked at and then they changed something on the drainage. Be it where the house is located or where the pond is located or what, anything that happened there. If that happened after, you know, we had certified it was okay, it's somebody else's, it's, it's a civil matter now. It's, no it's all stabilized, right? Now it's just a stormwater runoff issue? Yeah, um, it, it is. Before I mean, there it was like silk going until the pool and stuff, right? Right. Yeah. Right. That was that was the so the original storms before everything was built. Yeah. That was the, yeah, before the first the round was... the first round of, of issues. And now it's just flooding. Right. And then they built they built the set then they built the retention pond. If I recall this correctly, Warren was, was a little bit more on top of this because he was out there. They built after that first round, then they went and built that retention pond to spec. Mm -hmm. And it never happened again until this guy came in and built this house and modified. disturbed and modified something out there on that lot. And it, the retention pond's on his lot, but... But the pond itself is fine. It yeah, the pond itself is fine. So all the other stuff that he did is, is what's causing this issue. The, the, the water is no longer draining the pond. It's draining this way, I guess. I don't know. Okay. So, sorry. All right, so we have, we have a motion and a second. Any more discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Three in favor, and Mr. Pierce and Jeremiah are absent. What do you got there, Ryan? You got another one? Was that it? Uh, let's see. That's Shay Lane. You got uh, Grand Legacy. The oh, I was gonna go by and look at that. So he hasn't built the wall that he's looking he to do. He started. Okay. <laughs> okay. Sorry to say that, but no, he's it's okay. It's fine. Is this um, the house? He, I mean, the wall that they wanted us to approve. It's non-structural. It's decorative. It's, it's decorative. It's, it's an entry type one, right? It is, and I don't think that we normally do go through a process of approving them, but he did ask, and so you all said that you would like to see what it was going to look like. This is what it looks like, except for the fact that in the photo that he provided that actually shows earth being retained and what he wants to do, he says does not. So that is a different type of wall. As long as he has building permits that looks he needs, me. I, I mean, I, if you want to give any, yeah, looks good to you. Okay, good. To me, you. And, you know, these guys can speak to it, but I looked at it earlier. That yeah, I mean, I looked at it. It, look, it, it looks fine as long as, um, you know, hopefully somebody knows how to build a wall because you hope. And that you just say as long as it does look like that. Yeah, <laughs> it looks like that. And it's With very minimal variance. Yeah. That's nice. You see them around town, and it's a nice so he's way to got, uh, you know, you know how that bank goes up on the right side as you're going in on the mm -hmm. east side. That's where he's putting it. He's putting about halfway up, so I, it's going to retain. It's got to retain earth. I just will make sure that he has whatever permits he needs. Well, if it is, it's just going to Jerry, right? It's yeah. not. Yeah, yeah, it's going to go to Jerry. It's just in in a big beefy type. I mean, it's aesthetic, but it, the way there that one is built, it would be able to hold back a lot. Actually, it's yeah. not going to narrow well, off. As long as it's built this yeah. way. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, because okay. I thought there was going to be a house lot up there. I don't know how they're going to get up there. On the right? Is on that right. Yeah. Yeah, because it's a steep hill. They have an excavator up on top. Yeah, it looks like they get right up. So. Yeah. But I don't know how they're going to get there if they're going to put this wall down there. It doesn't. Well, it's come. Yeah. yeah I, but I there's no know. rotating orb, you know, water. Yeah, no, 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 nothing like that. Yeah, nothing like Town it's nearby. Nothing weird. Yeah. So I think it's okay. <laughs> it's, uh, I think it's okay. We'll just Fascinated make sure he by that. As long as he has proper permitting <laughs> yeah. from the building inspector, because he's tough on that. He wants to see those. Over four feet, right? It depends. It can, in some cases, be less if it's retaining a certain amount of earth. Yeah. So, I, but I'll just make sure he knows too. I mean, if you look, you look back at that hill. If he, if if any dirt comes to the top of that wall, it retains the whole hill. Yeah. Because that hill is t ten feet above it. Yeah, that's true. And I apologize. I didn't mean to go by there and take a picture before I got here tonight. But I left five minutes late, and that's I had to get okay. the EDC meeting on time. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why you would think that. <laughs> uh, okay. Hey, Danielle, can you tell us about the MBTA Communities Housing Regulations? Yes. How does it affect us? So they have been released by DHCD, the final regulations. Um, they don't really actually change anything for North Riding at all. Um, there were some issues and some concerns that we had about how the town could possibly, you know, come into compliance with the regulations. Um, and we were hoping that there would be some things done differently. And there were a lot of changes made, but a lot of those changes really apply to other communities and not to us because there were a lot of, um, you know, there were e was some easing of regulations around, um, you know, bus communities and commuter rail communities. And for those communities that have an MBTA station, how much of their land area around the station had to be devoted to the district, they've loosened up that a lot, which makes a ton of sense. And I'm glad that they did that because for all those communities, it was going to be really hard for them to meet. But none of the things that we were kind of grappling with um, are, are really any different. It's still... In order to achieve compliance, North Reading would still be looking at finding um, a district of 50 acres or more. Could be anywhere. Um, could be divided um, to it some be, degree. It could be anywhere, though, is the one thing they did open. Yes, right, versus that's true. Uh, having a proximity. That's are true. we, Danielle, are the new, or not, they got rid of the, the bus one, but mm -hmm. out of the four, so we're small, adjacent small town, that's us. We're adjacent community, but we don't count as a small town because the okay. small towns are really So it's that third one adjacent. Yeah, it's adjacent. I get you. Okay. Right. So they did yeah. create this other category, but we're just not small enough in population. Yeah, that's it. what, 50, 50 people in a one It's about 7,000, I think, is the... Well, it's 7,000 for, oh, for total per, per population. acre or something. But then yeah, it I was population just. density, like about yeah. half of our population yeah. density. Yeah, so yeah. Okay. It's ridiculously It wasn't <coughs> going it's to like far. It's like, it's a farming yeah. community is what they're talking about. Yeah. So I think what we... We don't come many of those. <laughs> used to be. Well, one thing I was happy to see is that they said they're going to release a tool that will really help communities to figure out um, whether they're compliant in each of these measures. Um, and I think that's going to be really necessary because it's it's otherwise there, it, it's fairly complicated to right. figure out whether Seems communities good. comply. So that tool is supposed to be released in the fall. Um, and in the meantime, I know they've said that there will be some technical assistance available. I'll you know, apply for whatever is available so that we can have some help and some guidance with this because it's going to be a big job. It's not going to be out. easy. No, and, and we'll and also... The, the select board wants to comply, am I correct? Mm -hmm. I would think so. I, I mean, would think, I mean, if try. we don't, we're going to lose all kind of grant opportunities. Yeah, right? yeah. it's too much. Well, if we don't too try, much at least, yeah. we have to at least try. We have to at yeah. least try. And I don't think it's as, I think for some communities it's going to be extremely hard to comply. It may be for us too, but I think that it's, we have more in place than, than a lot of towns do. So I, I think we can do it. It's, okay. you know, so we, we probably should have some upcoming discussions. I don't know if I should just put it on every agenda as a discussion just so that we can just continue to talk about yeah. it a little bit each meeting. I think you should. Okay. Um, we'll, it's kinda, we'll do it's that. It's kind of like your, your briefing. Yeah. You know, yeah. Put, just put it in there. Not not in your okay. briefing, but, mm -hmm. you know, as a line item, as an item so everybody can see it. Yeah. 
and we can talk about so it. So is that on the three documents that you had the actual rules, the guidelines, and then you had the planner's memo that um, that your you know that kind of bullets it, and then there's the kind of town official memo. Is that the one that? select boards has and are you going to do that same remember you did the presentation to brief everyone on what's coming so yeah. now that we kind of know what has come are you going to do that i or? think we should yeah. 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 Um, yeah and i think at the same time because we've because we had that presentation already and we started to talk about it there's almost nothing that's different for us so there's almost nothing new to say except okay. that yes well, this has actually that, happened you know. and we're actually doing it so yeah. i think we can kind of start to move on it i mean we okay. could but i think the message to I, yeah would I, be, I think it's if the nothing same. else you got to tell them that they went off they mm -hmm. reviewed everything and our nothing has changed for our size town don't say north reading because it wasn't specific right, to us it was it yeah. was our size town Mm -hmm. You know, an adjacent town yeah, adjacent. Of, our, of our size. Without station. There's there's right. no changes in the regulations and guidelines for us, so right. we have to work to the original guidelines. Period. Um, well, the the guidelines as they've been revised, and they are a little bit clearer. I mean, there were some they questions clearer, that were yeah. you know out there before. Um, I, I did want to mention there is a September 8th online information session that's going oh. to be held, which um, I can send out the information for that. I, I'll, I'll be registering for it. Um, so is I'll that a daytime thing? Um, I believe it is. I'll, I'll send that. I'll send it out to everyone. Okay. So if you'd like to register. Um, can anyone go on to that? As far as I know. Yeah, I, I think so. I think it's just a register. public. Yeah, it's it's yeah. a third. I know it's a Thursday. It's a Thursday. Um, yeah. It'll be in the morning. I had I had the email about it. Um, oh, here we go. Um, it's one p.m. Hmm. And I think anyone could register for it. Do you know, too, Danielle, with, um, on you know, one of the bullets, I think it's the fifth bullet I'm reading, mm -hmm. just on the density of multifamily, and they're using it, um, they have that tool that you mentioned that will mm -hmm. be based off GIS mm -hmm. for the town, but, you know, is, did they factor in that some towns have sewer and some towns have septic, and there's just the density problem for us, or any town, with septic is that we have septic, and right. it's like we have... They didn't you know, take it into account. We have a little head on a leash called septic system that needs to come with all these homes, and it's hard to have the same density. I don't think they took that into consideration. Mm -hmm. I think that they did also. They did say, by the way, wherever you uh, claim you're going to have your district, you should be considering all of the factors about whether this is really developable. So of course you kind of have to think about um, septic, but there are no special provisions for it. So right. it's that's an issue right there. And, and, do we and have that's any, something that they we, really blew up looking at these guidelines. And do we have any large parcel, um, again, <clears throat> since we don't have to have the proximity or we kind of wave off the proximity thing, just any available lot, do we have anything along the sewer sewer pathway that other than maybe commercial, but uh, even um, that I don't know. But. I mean, yeah, we. I think we, I think we do, depending on what the final sewer pathway is. I mean, the town does own land along um, Lowell Road. Right. Um, the town doesn't own much land on Main Street, but there are places that, I mean, the town doesn't have to own land, I shouldn't say that. Um, it, but there are places on, on Main Street yeah, that could be changed most of to what, this. Most um, of what there is in town anymore is it's undevelopable town land, undevelopable because mm -hmm. it's wet. Right. Street would have been nice. And yeah, then that's our that's our only area. Mm -hmm. But you can I mean, if we wanted to, we are going to have to rezone somewhat somewhere yep. in order to comply with this. So yep. maybe there is a small portion of Concord Street where that makes sense. Maybe um, there's a portion of Main Street that makes sense. Maybe there's a portion of North Street or Lowell Road that makes sense. Well, I mean, contaminated building that they just <laughs> released. <laughs> I mean, it's actually quite clean as we learned. It's gotten a lot better. It's underneath. And, it's not yeah. the, build, the building's not really contaminated. It's, it's well, the building's ground. not very nice. Yeah. Well, the building's the, the building's, yeah, that's, the that's, building's that, that sees a wrecking ball. Uh, yeah. Uh, but the pumps aren't pulling up right now 
the ones that they had there because some of them got disconnected, but they're not, I, I was out there. It, yeah. They said they're not pulling up readings that are in past the threshold right now. So it's just it's that. It's downstream. Yeah, though. I mean, you got to have a, an activity use limitation in AOU, but it's still, which would probably not be housing. <laughs> but, probably not. Um, yeah, but that's it's a, not that bad is what I'm getting yeah, at. The yeah, site that's, that's not, good it's for a an good, eight hour it's a day good, kind of thing. It's a good not, business site. No, so everybody's knows. safe on it. I think what it's really going to come to for, for us is we will have to find a couple of sites that we will want to consider to allow multifamily housing where we have not zoned for that previously. And we will need to revisit our requirements for special permitting for site plan review, at least for some zoning districts, because any requirement of a special permit will not count for this yeah. at all. So those are the big things that we'll have to look at. I think those are the biggest changes for us. All right, well, so, yeah. maybe you need to go through and give us a, yep, you know, a list and what do you think, yeah. where and how, and that's gonna be the biggest thing. Yep. I, there's just not a lot of open land here. No, but you know, there, there doesn't really have to be because they're looking at changing zoning they're not really looking at how many will it basically what they're doing is they're saying this is a this is a current uh, a show game you're going to tell us what you can do but yeah. you know nothing's going to happen for 50 years because that's whoever owns it or whatever it's you know it won't change unless it changes hands well you can rezone the property and you know as, as we know if all of a sudden you can do multifamily housing by right a person who was sitting on a property before yeah they might, might yeah they might build on it yeah so it might encourage them yeah yeah this is would. the better way to do it to be frank though than what i'm involved with on a lot of my you know my business with developers up, up in maine or whatever wherever we're building residential is the amount of you know portland for instance has 25 percent now is affordable or iz so a private owner or developer has to pay for for the benefit of the government if you will you know affordable or provide affordable housing at a complete loss to the whole development so that's one quarter you know one quarter of all everything you develop has mm -hmm. to be a loss and it's a lot to put on a private developer versus this is the better way to do it yeah. is create the zoning mm -hmm. that allows you to do it multifamily whatever right. mm -hmm. and that's it's the market then the market comes and i can yeah. build the, this the, i can the, do the that that's the better way to do it than more at at gunpoint <laughs> you, you, well, you, well you're right but the, the problem is we well the problem for us is is we have to make sure that zoning is not um, available for them to put in multi-million dollar condos. So there's no affordability. See, that's an issue. At all that's, in that, this. They, so they just blew that right out of the water. Didn't so they? here's yeah, what that's we are. Interesting. It, it, you're, it, you just raised a good point. I'm, I'm going down the right angle like this is good for affordability, but you're right. This is supposed to be right. affordable. I mean. They're going to be five and six and seven hundred thousand dollar condos. So there, this is more of a density approach, it, yeah. more than an affordability. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Then I, yeah. You know, then yeah. Then then that's not. It's not helping really. But it's not going to help. <laughs> and one what thing, they want to attack. Or it is might not. not it help. might not help because we don't know. But it doesn't. Okay. One thing we'll really need to be looking at is um, if we want to provide some kind of inclusionary zoning aspect to this where for new multifamily development you are required to do a certain percentage of affordable because then otherwise we may we may fall very behind in our 10%. Yeah. At the same time, if we put in something that's too onerous, they'll the state won't accept it because then that's seen as discouraging a developer from building housing. Oh, yeah, so there's well, going to be a balance here. That's the problem with the state. They've always done this. They've always done this. The only reason people started doing 40Bs is because land wasn't available anymore. So they started doing it on land that was worthless. They couldn't put in a house that you yeah, could with do. The proper with, yeah, proper dimensions. With the dimensions yeah. and stuff. So now they've stuffed it in. The zoning is out the window. You're going to go with their zoning 10 feet up the lot line. And da, 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 da. That was the wrong that was just the wrong way to do it in the 60s and 70s when they did it, when there was still land mass available. They needed to do something. I mean, you know, Maine is, they say, a quarter of what you build has to Portland, be affordable. I should say. Oh, Portland, they yeah. have the most a quarter respect. of what they build has to be affordable, right? So now they got a huge amount of affordable 
apartments or whatever, and they don't have people to fill them. Yeah, and that's well, an interesting problem to have because at that point, you can go higher into the in, into the the salary pool industry. and say yes, you can now live there. And that's what they're going to have to do because that is the problem: is they're having a real difficult time finding people that can afford mm -hmm. in that market. Mm -hmm. Homes that are seven hundred, six hundred thousand, and that's a controlled cost. There, yeah. you know, it's, it's a lot. Like no one can make that. So to qualify and to be able to pay for it, yeah. it's it's tricky. Yeah. It's ridiculous. Yeah, it's it's. I mean, there's so much dynamics there. That my daughter just bought a condo. Oh. Two hundred twenty thousand dollars. Where? And well, that's <laughs> and there's another fifteen that's going into it to make it livable, really. Um, so, you know, and, and that's right at the top of her. And it's because of the bank of mom and dad. But is she paying PMI? She's with the bank of mom and dad. Okay. She well, is, either yes, way. She's, she's paying, she's, she's paying interest. She's paying, you know, she's paying this, this is not free. Yeah. Are they FDIC insured? Uh, no. <laughs> he's like Harry Potter. He's Gringotts, you know. It's like the, money's out, the money's on it. The Harry money's Potter. on it right now. <laughs> She owns, well, she Very owns different it, we own bank. one of the two owned it, so. But the but, PMI is another example of yeah. it with affordable, like, so they, you're, they're squeaking by, then you're, then they have to pay PMI. PMI, insurance. Um, there's this, also no that. backside, they can't then, three years with this great market, three years down the road, sell it no. for profit. Because it it's, no, it's, it's fixed. It's a, it's a fixed given profit, a certain right? Year, but yeah, so yeah, there's like, no upside yeah. to get out of the hole that they could be in financially that would, Help you climb. You know, so there's so many weird dynamics. Yeah, it, with, it is. Even yeah. if you challenge your refinance, if you've gained equity. Yeah, yeah it, I just because you're limited in the equity you can actually keep. Yeah. In that. Yeah. I mean, because you've got a very subsidized unit. So yeah. then and, it's and like and, and, I do. And, I and, see both sides and, of it. Just they, like, there should be. Yeah. There should have been something put in to be able to. I don't know. Yeah. Allow it to happen. You know, get it. Rising tide lifts yeah. all ships. Yeah, because it doesn't incentivize it, you to improve the home people, like everyone else does. There are people who go yeah. in there and they, they, they qualify. And five years later, <coughs> they don't qualify anymore. If they have not qualified for that, and they don't qualify, they're up here now because their jobs have changed. Their status has changed. You know? well, I mean, that is one of the goals of affordable housing, right, is to be an asset building tool for, you know, for people who yeah. need help. don't want it to go the other help. way if they can't. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But you know, it, it, what I'm thinking of is the people that are now up here, mm -hmm. is they're in this affordable apartment. Yeah. They're putting all their money away, mm -hmm. right? And the people that need to be in that apartment can't get in there because these people are still there. They don't continue to look at that. Mm. Why are you making so much money now? I got married and my, my husband makes $150,000 a year, but I don't. But they're just incentivized to move because they don't cash out the equity they created. That's right. Yeah, so it should be like a review. And that's everybody that way. Well, that's, we can, we're not going to solve that problem. No. That's what we need to figure out what we can do. And, right. you know, if we can write something so that we've not basically given carte blanche to make our, our system worse here. Right. So, okay, why don't I kind of sketch out a plan for, you know, what we think we need to find out, what our various steps might possibly be, what things we should start looking at, and we can just start having this as a discussion. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. For future meetings, so, okay. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Great. What's this uh, ZBA we got here? I don't think we have any. Z oh, we got, do we have yeah, one? We, got we do have one. It's a very odd ball. Oh. Yeah. I wish, uh, I, wish really I had my civil so engineer with me here. <laughs> I, my comment on this I, one. I know I got more than you. You want to look at? I got oh yeah. I the plan. My comment on this one is, I would just want to know oh, um, whether they were actually building any of the addition in the flood zone. 
How because if they big? are, it's ten feet from the then water. Then they they are going to need a not I think only it's even less than ten feet, right? Yeah. And sorry to cut you off. No, it's okay. I mean, I think that they are. It looks like it would be in the flood zone, but it, the plan doesn't show where the flood zone line is. So I right. think um, they would need not only would they need their conservation commission filing, but they would need a floodplain special permit from the CPC as well. Right. So that would be my biggest comment about this. Yeah, I'm sure because they deal with ZBA, that is, they yeah. deal with homes all around the, the pond. So they've seen this before mm -hmm. and know what they can do. And But that would, that was the same thing I had. Yeah, that's like, way it's too so close. close. It's too so close, close to the water. To the water. Yeah. It depends, I guess, if this is on stilts and it's 10 feet in the air, I guess maybe it yeah. doesn't, it do, it's not? Yeah, so, no, it's it, and I saw it on the, I saw it on Google too, it doesn't look like that either, but um, yeah. In, ju in just this plan view, it's yeah. strange. Yeah, like I the don't know. I don't know how you grant that. Like six feet long now. Well, if they did, if that's what is, that is what they're doing, they would have to meet the requirements for the floodplain special permit, which might mean that they actually couldn't do that because you wouldn't be able to issue them the floodplain special permit if they're actually taking up more area that should be flood storage. So right. I think I can put that into a comment. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, again, I'm, you know, I'm confident they'll it's, I'll hopefully it's, be at the next meeting. It's kind of. Obviously, the septic system is between the driveway and their house. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Um, they, uh, probably, they probably bought this figure. No, we're going to blow up this up and make it huge and good to go. Yeah, it's hard. Mm. I, mean, I think that's it's more important about you know the things that we have a leg to stand, and that's one of them. Oh, I'm sorry, which the, is the, the, the floodplain. The, yeah, the floodplain, yeah, for sure. And Obviously I would comment too, they the, would the need. The sidelines, you know, I pushed on that. Who's, who's to the right of them? Or to the, there, there's residences on each to side. To the left yeah. of them. I always love it when they don't, you know, you don't see them. You have much more room on the existing deck side. Than the floor, yeah, so. Hmm. Oh, that little that little thing over there. That's the, is that what they call it? The deck that little yeah, well, three yeah, by two stairs. The yeah. stair, the stair landing. Uh, Picture of the wine glasses out there on the side. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, it, it's the great house. It's, it's one of these. It's, it's one really of these cool. things. First of all, is how do you get into the original house now? You use that deck. You know, go in that same entrance square it off and then you know you've lost maybe a foot well maybe not because it's parallel that, that line's parallel to the well that's the thing there's substantial room on that existing side to put a deck on the side of the house but obviously the desire is to have it water face yeah of course you know where else would you want not like there's nowhere to put it <laughs> yeah. it's already there they have a freestanding deck on the ground right now yeah yeah that's fine. but it's it's considerable okay because it's movable it's right on the lot line too but it's probably movable, like a shed. So yeah, the floodplain is a biggie. Okay. You don't want to lose that there because it was it was pretty high there this year. Mm. I worked with a woman that, that she'd never seen the water so high. Exactly. This spring, I mean, not now it's low. Yeah. yeah. But you know, spring it was wicked high. Mm -hmm. And all that is is one time for damage. Basement, you know, the problems with the deck would be, but they're smart, they don't put a basement in there, right? Yeah, you put that uh, thing on stilts, yeah, well, that's what I would be doing. Yeah, I agree. And I think that's it for ZBA. That's it for okay. ZBA. That's all for ZBA, one. whatever else is in here, and I think that's probably minutes, minutes, Ryan. Mr. Chairman, I move to approve the minutes to July 19th, 2022. Second. I have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all, uh, all in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Three in favor, and Ward and Jeremiah are absent. Is that your toe, Debbie? No, it's my back. Oh. I oh, probably the Go see a doctor. Yeah, go see a doctor. Chiropractor. Doctor Even better. Even better. Is they going to take x rays for a chiropractor? Make sure they're weight bearing, not laying down on the table. Yeah. 
amazing. They, they do it all the time. Taking yeah. x-rays of the back, you always have to do it standing up. Yeah. They lay you they, down and there's no, no gravity pressure. doesn't work on your back anymore. They lay you down. They do that at a vet, you know. Um, I, just I used to do those. Did you know that? <laughs> really? I was really? the vet when I was a kid. No. You wear protection, I hope? Or oh, yeah. <laughs> I had two, I have two. Radiation I have two over perfectly here. healthy kids. Yes, ma'am. Is that I, it? I have a question. Yes, ma'am. Um, if you're going to do the uh, appointment for the EDC, I have to go and change this form. So are you going to do that tonight or are you going to wait? Everybody looks at me. We're trying to get We're trying to get Dave to do it. <laughs> I, get, I, get, I, get, I get too much. I don't want I, you know, I'm like up to here. I will hold off to the next meeting. Okay. All right. So I should take Good Dave's on. name off this too. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't, that I didn't do. Yeah. I didn't do that. Yeah. <laughs> I served it up. <laughs> I yes. to trust me, if I had time, I absolutely would. Like, like I'm retired, I'm going to say yes to everything. has an informational question. This so the, the board discussed um, an article for our town meeting um, about the lots that we disagreed on last town meeting. Um, we would like to see that come up again. There are some ideas about having doing ourselves, um, looking at those lots and seeing what needs to be done ourselves, not leaving it to someone else, um, just for some knowledge of the lot. So the board would like to have a meeting together and... Between now and October town meeting? Mm -hmm. And Leon, do you mean just do some investigation, like do a survey? Do, do our own. Yeah, yeah. So what, if there's wetlands flag Because out. we own it. Yeah. The, no, I see. The you know, is, do a little engineering. Why have somebody else do it? Let's do it ourselves. Oh, so you mean put up the buildings? No, 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 no just no. just the surveying. Oh, oh just, okay. Just, yeah, yeah. Just kind of the, flagging, right? Yeah, yeah just yeah. kind of existing conditions, yeah. understanding, you know, what is buildable, all right. that kind of stuff. Right. Um, so if, if we don't have it, and Danielle, is it is that kind of the same? Disposition of all of them. They don't. They're not all surveyed. They probably maybe they, none of them. Are none surveyed. of them are surveyed. Yeah, yeah. none okay. of them yeah. are surveyed. So that's, I think that was idea. kind of the we went divide through. that we had because you know our board didn't know what what we were dealing with and and I think that's kind of where we're at right now is why don't we I, I believe that article is to a lot of money to be able to do that. Yeah, I think from what I heard, because I was just listening to the discussion from that meeting, um, it sounds like they were talking about um, submitting an article that would allow some, you know, pay for having the wetlands right. delineation and surveys done, which is not going to be a ton of money, and right. I think might be a really good way to actually kind of break the stalemate and just yeah. move the project forward. Right. I, yeah. I think. I just want to come together on yeah. it and be on the same page. So maybe we don't even have to meet for that, you know, but we hope that maybe we co-sponsor that Absolutely with not. us. I'm, I'm um, down with that. Sure, and I'm then good. maybe yeah. meet to go further, you know, what we want to do. I think you get to, I, I mean, we're trying to get affordable built homes here, but you also, like, you give a certainty by having wetlands known and delineated yes. up, to, up to date and survey, you really... So when someone's bidding on it, they really right. know what they're getting and what's going right. on. Right, it wasn't. So we we weren't really worried. Right, it, it, there was some this, speculation. This, in though, this right? last one, most of those properties we were going to basically do a transfer of land for them to build the property for us. And the first year, you're going to make more money than we sell empty lots adjacent down at at, at uh, the lake. You know, what a thousand dollars, two thousand dollars, stuff like that. Pretty cheap. But uh, you're going to get that much in, in taxes the first year you get a house on that. If we don't pay to put the house on, you made more money right there. You know, we, we're going to make more money that way. But, um, and it gives somebody an affordable place to live. So, right. you know, I, I, just, the, I just don't want to. Our board is all on board with that. You know, we want that. I think there were just too many questions about the lots that we had, you know, to. To be on the same page. So we'd like to be on the same so, page. So let me ask this. Yeah. Leah, still Leah, right? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. She can flag, right? 
Can she fly she does. She she has she has a business. I don't think she can work in North Reading though because okay. of her role here. Probably not. So she not, doesn't she, do she, any. She goes through our already flagged land and say it's okay. Right. She reviews kind of on behalf reviews, of the con okay, conservation so she, mission. What I was trying to do is do it for see if we can get it done for free. Or it's not you know, a lot of money. Pay, though, pay her. Wetlands what, what are not bad money. as long as the no. lot's not enormous, yeah. but it's. It, that's my cheapest one. The survey to pick up those flags is where you pay more money. You know, yeah. doing the actual property line survey and then picking up yeah. the flags mm -hmm. in the survey. That's going to be more expensive. Yeah. But that could still be done by our local companies that we have here, right? Yeah. Everything's on GPS, uh, are, are all on uh, GIS here, right? They can go well, yeah, but not, to not to that level. Well, yeah, I know. Yeah. We, go through, we go through the, yeah. the, the uh, But GPS I think you'll still need computer the, coordinates and they can pick it up. They have to do the full They still have like to, like yeah. Ground, to, yeah. In order for an LSP to stamp that, it has to yeah, be. Yeah, I suppose, yeah. 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 And that, I mean, even that's not. Lot. But they do, what you're referring to is when you are speculating on a site, you can go to GIS to pick up what were, let's like, say, the last report of wetlands. Right. And they're fairly accurate for, like, planning purposes, but not to, yeah. to the point of the of the select board. Not it, might be, it might be good enough for the select board. Though. I, don't, I don't know. I'm not sure. I think, again, that gives the bidder the uncertain certainty of what yeah. they exactly have because the I'm sure they'll wherever they're if we're if we're kind of even going the next step maybe civilized we're just adding in the setbacks or something so people see exactly what's buildable yeah mm -hmm. but we don't have to do that but so does that change the approach for the transfer of the land is it not that much like for sale or are we still taking the approach of looking for well if someone came in and they wanted to put an affordable unit there that's what they. This was for. They have to come to the select to release it. Right. The right. select board's looking to be able to define like that. This is the buildable area, and therefore right. it's going to be one building. It can only. Be, it can only. You know, they're going to. They want to look at it and say, okay, we can put a septic system we in know one that. house. Yeah. Yeah. Instead of, it's kind of putting the cart before the horse. You know, we want to know what we have. Mm -hmm. And then you can build that into the RFP if we have, you know, whatever the, the conditions are on the ground right. and yeah, we see that it's really only appropriate to develop on this part right. of it. Yeah, yeah. It right. Can, right. It can, that's, yeah. that's, no, I, and yeah, that's fine. You know, we would, we would support that. I don't know okay. if we can get a meeting together to, to, to get there because it's, it's tough enough to get meetings together today. I, I, I don't think we need just, one if that's what they're, they're doing right yeah and we I don't, I don't think we need to I mean I, I, I no I mean I can write a memo saying yeah. that the even, CPC yeah, would, would support that effort yeah, yeah, yeah that, that would be fun and then yeah. Yeah. um you, you know you guys meet enough <laughs> yeah. yeah and then don't also need to have a meeting to have a meeting right now those parcels are under your purview yeah right. we we did that we did the change right. 10 years ago seven years whatever it was the planning board did the change and and the board at that time agreed with it you guys want more information and that's fine um so, uh, but it, it's it's kind of it's in your ballpark. It's in the select boards. But we'd like to we like now. to go on to be on the right. same page right. and, and put this article forward together. Right. No, that's fine. It, that's to get the money to do the, the survey. Yeah, yes. sure. What if I wrote a memo just saying that the CPC would support the select board in you know uh, submitting the warrant article or be co-sponsor? I don't know yeah. How, yeah. what you prefer to do. Be co-sponsor the article, um, sure. and then at that point, if it does pass and the money is appropriated, I mean, I'll coordinate whatever yeah. needs to be done. Yeah. After the fact, we can always get together if we have to. Yeah. yeah that's yeah. fine. I'd like yeah. to see that include some mechanism to recoup that cost, even if it's incidental. I think it's still huh. worthwhile since it, it's well, typically, I mean, our argument before was this is a typically a developer cost. They have to survey and then they have right. to work within the, right. the laws of conservation and our zoning laws right. to do it. So, I mean, I, I, that would be my only comment. I'm not saying it wouldn't support it otherwise. The, the, but the issue is, is, is some of the people, well, the people we were looking at at that point were, like, were totally um, what do I want to say? They they work with engineers who I think give a lot of pro uh, bono services. Pro bono stuff. So they right, would so they would have to have free. done it. They would, they would have come and done all that work here with us. Yeah, and I but think they would have costs out of pocket. Gotcha. So adding costs to that property for the proper entity. Yeah. I know what you're saying if it's a commercial entity. Yeah. Then definitely recoup the cost. Mm -hmm. But if it's if it's somebody like. Like Habitat. Like Habitat. Who would be getting it for there, free. <laughs> everything they do is yeah. free. Right. Yeah. Maybe that's a point of sense. They, you know, they, they don't, they, you know, 
it's not free to the homeowner. They have to pay. Yeah. And they have to pay sweat equity at their own house and other houses. I don't know if you guys all knew that or not. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. it, it's, it's amazing. These people, they, they, so they learn how to take care of their own home because they are there working on that home. Yeah. And then they go to the next house and help build that house and help those people. It's, it's really a good yeah. domino effect. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't want, you know, I'm, I'm trying not to cost them extra money yeah, if they can get it for free. So that could probably be decided when somebody comes forward. Right, right. the RFP could have, 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 yeah, like the RFP could include, include we, whatever terms. You could, you could do that in the RFP if it's, right. if it's yeah. truly if it's a, a, a developer yeah. or. Yeah, yeah. 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 otherwise that's a reimbursement cost. Exactly, yeah. mm -hmm. exactly. And, the, and we should know what the cost is per lot. That would be the only, the only right. thing is to know what cost, what engineering costs were spent per lot. Yeah. Because some lots are going to be more money right. than others. Yeah. Right. I did just want to clarify. It sounded to me from sound, um, listening to the meeting that the intent was to do, do a delineation and survey for the four properties that were talked about, yes. and not for the whole district. Is that right? Just those four right. properties. Okay. Because that would the be kind of a different own. scale the of town. project. Yeah. The town. Well, yeah well, the we whole, own we, all of them, but not all, all of them were all looked the at. The ones in the district the, that we the ones created. that you had brought. Yeah. The okay. four. Because those that, are that's really. What we that's exactly what she's asking. Yeah, yeah. Those are the ones that were the easiest and least ex yeah. expensive to develop and most likely to be developed. Yeah. The others, there are some others out there that are harder to develop. No, more we expensive. weren't looking at okay. that, the whole thing. Just the ones that you. All right. We can start with that, and then in the future we can always do more if we wanted to. Well, if this works. Yeah, we can this get them works. out there and built in, you know, as an affordable house. It's yeah. great. It's a start. Yeah. In the right, the right way. Right. So I have okay, one. Great. Anything else? Um, and we are also kind of anxious to get that accessory dwelling. Hey, do you? <laughs> well, we had something we were going to read tonight, look at tonight, but with two members missing, we we're oh, going yeah. we're, we're to push that off to our next meeting. I think we weren't trying to get this done until probably June spring October, at the, yeah. yes, June June town town okay. meeting at the earliest or next October, only because there's so much stuff going on. Right. There's no time that it's too late now, anyways. Right, the warrant's closed for. Yeah, yeah. Uh, not yet, but soon. It's, it's, yeah. it's too soon as, to get as it. As far as far as she's concerned, the warrant's closed because yeah. she's not. We're not. She's not even time <laughs> to write anything else. Not. Daniel, weren't we going to get though from our last meeting, which mm -hmm. was July, like a month ago or so? Um, Jerry back here? Or? So I know that you wanted me to talk to Jerry about whether he had seen that last draft that we'd shared and, and he and I met and he right. has seen it and, and we've spoken about it. I, if you'd like, I can invite him to the next meeting. I think that'd to be good discussion. because yeah, he can sure. answer so many questions as we sure. try to work through you know, what we and what put we, it on no. for, yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. No, go ahead. Put, put that on for the first so Jerry can come and go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if any, uh, you know, so block out 45 minutes or an hour, and if any public hearings come up between now and then, make it May 30 or later. Sure. Okay? Okay. I, I, I hate to have our yeah. paid employees here. I know we feel the same way. Or we, or yeah, we we'll start at 7 yeah. or something, you know, because of Jerry, like, just start earlier. That gives us uh, a half an hour. Or is oh, that that, in our next meeting, that's a question, too, right? Yes, I did want to discuss yeah, that schedule with you. Yeah, let's discuss that before you. we start um, discussing what's going to be on the meeting. Sir, so, up? election day is September 6th, which would have been our September meeting. Um, so, so day, Chris was suggesting... For the state. Oh. Primary. Oh, so primary. Okay. The 30th, So, August I was 30? suggesting because in the month of August, there are actually five Tuesdays. Two Tuesdays from now is the 30th. I can do the period. Yeah. Um, that works. I mean, again, it's so during the week. Pull that meeting ahead, and then we're then <laughs> no, we're going to have. Yeah. Then we'll have a meeting in uh, one meeting in September, and then. And then our normal in October. Yeah. Then we'll so have an October good. meeting, and then it'll be town meeting. You can or do that, Ryan. Then our October meeting, or whatever. Town meeting the first. The thirtieth Tuesday. <laughs> yeah. Maybe travel. Okay. Okay. Oh, and the other part of that actually is: Do you want me to post this as hybrid? Because I. I would post it as hybrid. Just yeah. In just case. in case. Just in case. Okay because you don't know if anyone's going to get ill. No, of course, and we'll definitely or do I'm that. Be able to get here. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's definitely <laughs> another piece of, like, 
it's something that you it's, have it, to do. It is, which is fine. And it's tonight, just, I know you couldn't do it tonight because it wasn't posted. Right, that way. right. Um, okay, and also, so if it makes it easier for people who are out or traveling or doing whatever, yeah, it, it, right. yeah. and we can at least yeah, do Ryan, that for the next one. Right. Right. So I don't know on. if that's yeah. <laughs> even if it's for that half an hour or whatever with yeah, Jerry. So at least listening, and you know. <laughs> <laughs> so you get North Carolina, I get South Carolina cover. <laughs> oh, perfect. <laughs> just where you want to be. Uh, so, anything else? That was it. Okay. Daniel, do you have an update for us? Um, I think you really have were updated on everything that I would have updated you on when Mike came in earlier. Okay. But, um, oh, no, 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 that was the, the EDC meeting. I've been to too many meetings today. Um, no, just Mike came to the EDC meeting to give a, just a brief wastewater update. Um, we're still really working through... Um, the information that we need to be able to discuss costs and how the assessments and betterments are going to work and the expectations for economic development potential. The consultant is still working through a lot of that stuff. And so I know the select board was hoping to have been ready to have a workshop a couple of weeks ago. Um, we're, we're, I'm sure they will be soon to, to do something like that, but it just, it, it's yeah, still, it still needs a little bit more time so that we're talking about real numbers and August the, the best information. We right, that August 5th workshop yeah. that was supposed to have happened. Um, so it's just, it's just been, you know, it's progressing. It's just there's a lot of information to mm -hmm. to get through, and sounds like they get all their points drilled. So now the engineers just have to put together <coughs> how it's going to be done. Oh, the design. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there are a lot of questions about the design. Cool. So <laughs> um, it's not easy. But in terms of the financial aspect of it, I know that that's something that's very much you know of interest to, to us, and in terms of how it will affect development in the town. I mean, those are things we need to get a better understanding of or at least what the options are going to be for how much development we want to allow, because we think we have quite a bit of capacity, you know, quite a bit of potential, but we, we have to figure out um, what that translates into. So anyway, um, we'll have better information soon. The consultant will come back to the CPC, have a, have a discussion. I know we had a more general discussion when the consultants came in last time, so. Um, yeah. And in terms of any other updates. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna say the word. That's what's safe. Oh, Charles Street. <laughs> Danielle, do you know um, what the status of the pet store that was going to go into the plaza there at Stop and Shop? It seems like I, I was expecting after I don't think all it's that. Now. I think it's something else now. No, well, I don't. I, they didn't. I, they haven't started. Yeah, I don't even know that they've. I'm, I'm just premises. really interested to see. It's not, it's not like it's. Let me find out. I was also wondering. Yeah. It's it hasn't. Materialized. I think a lot of the neighbors would be glad to <laughs> not see the jolly green so giant green sign here. Though it was pretty, of a, uh, of pretty a stretch, ugly. A stretch lab. Sorry, sorry, that store. But I'm sorry. <laughs> stretch lab. That does ring a bell. Yes. Is that permitted, like in that plaza? What I can't remember which plaza it's in. Stretch lab. They they do. Just I know I saw a sign for it, like a, a sign permit for it, but I don't remember which okay. shopping oh, it's center down it's in. in. Right at the very end, I think where Sears. That, the oh store. no, that's no, another. No, that's orange theory. Oh, I thought oh, Stretch okay. Lab that's, was that's in actual, uh, the other. But isn't plaza. it sad? I mean, how am I going to be My uh, my oh, wife thought it was going to be where uh, uh, Weight Watchers was. Let me see. I they thought moved out of there too. Yeah. it Which was is kind in of in the middle. Where Skims Abbey is. Unless the never any wine store wants to explain a few more. Yeah. Yeah, you know. Wine City. It's going to be total wine city. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> well, it says 265 Main Street, so yeah, that that is the plaza. Um, I don't remember what's So just it was just a, a, a random okay. thought and question. There's another big one though, Elm Street. Elm Street. Twenty. We're just waiting to hear from the Housing Appeals Committee. Did, There's did been you, no. Did you hear that the property that? Um, it's a rumor, right? Yeah, that Nick has sold that part of the property. I heard a rumor, but I have no idea yeah, if it's true. Heard. I haven't been able to verify anything. I, I know that he <laughs> so. was coming in here with yeah. with partners on that project. Okay. Um, which makes sense because that was a big project. Was there ever an A&R, John, though, to divide that property? I don't recall one. Well, that's the whole trick. I thought that property was all one. As far as I know, it is. 
So that rumor may be just a rumor and it's not very good. I mean, it's everywhere. It's on Facebook. I also, I heard it from somebody else Sunday, Saturday night, and then I saw this on Facebook Monday. Someone was asking that mm. question. Yeah, um, that's that to me. I asked Mike about it, but nothing's been confirmed. Yeah, okay. But that's right. Can you just take a peek at the property? Well, it's one property. It, 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 it hasn't all been because we right? never approved an A and R that would divide it. So I don't know. So they have to. They they'd have to divide it. Unless unless the entire property is being sold, or I no, don't know. The so what I understood is the restaurants was he was hanging on to those because his son is a chef. Huh? Could be like a sale lease back. Maybe. I'll ask the assessor about any news of any property sale or parts okay. of property sales. I'll right. see what she knows. Um, I, you know, I'm not just, I thought I'd ask. Yeah, no, I... Because people, it's going to come, they'll start asking us soon. Oh, people no, ask me about that. Oh, no. How long has that housing authority take to They told us it could be a few months, it could be several months, it could be almost a year. I, we just don't now? know. Well, I'm sorry? How long has it been now? The hearing was in... I can't believe I can't remember because I January, testified. It was in January. It was like right before my break. Um, no, maybe it was, no, it was February. It was February. It was February. Right before February break, um, we had the hearing. So, and then they had another month to file their brief. And then, so the end of March. So it's been since, really since the end of March. I mean, we don't know. April, May, June, July, August. That's five months. Mm -hmm. You're not going to hear anything from December at the earliest. You don't think? From the, from the court? No. And these, this is land court, right? Housing Appeals Committee. Housing Appeals Committee. Yeah, yeah so I... And land court is wicked. I know, I had to deal with land court. You should, you well, should know. You, you know were in front of land court because of us. It was a nightmare. Probably. <laughs> Absolute nightmare. We were trying to do that to you, but <laughs> had to be right. I know. So, yep. um, yes, and I, that, I had to ask only because um, it's the rumors, you know, the rumor mill gets going in this town and right. it gets to be really bad. What's yeah. against Facebook? <laughs> yeah, it, 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 well, that's why I asked. I was going to ask because the rumor I heard, because I saw it in Facebook. Yeah. And it's on a North Reading community. And, a, right. and somebody was asking the people that are on the committee, that yeah, ad hoc that committee, the Ipswich. 20, yeah, it's to preserve, yeah. save Ipswich or yeah, preserve yeah. Ipswich, whatever that name is. I'm not quite sure what it is. Yeah. Um, so that's the only reason I have, because I, I like to, if, if we had a definitive answer, we could shoot down some yeah. things. No, I, I just, that. actually just today heard a rumor about it, so I haven't had oh, time okay. to so ask anyone about it. I just heard it today. Okay. Yeah. That's um, fine. I'll ask the assessor's office. Yeah. You know who to ask. That's I why I ask you. You know who to ask. So that's all I have so our next meeting then will be August 30th and it will be hybrid and I will write a memo um, to the select board please uh, Thank saying you. saying that we will be happy to Great. respond to that you. article and uh, if you could send an, uh, just an email out about the meeting for yes. the other two members yes. Definitely. Um, and you know it would be great this is this is a, a little bit, but maybe you could get a hold of uh, Brad and get Thank this. You. This is gonna be digital. Thank you. I'm sorry. Tire this tire must tire. be digital. Yeah, I think that's it's who you want to Oh get. yeah, yeah. No, they'll they'll submit it all digitally. Well, I know. I know. Just just so the other two members could see it. Oh, you can have this one. You... Oh, he actually. I think he already emailed it to us. Did Brad already forward to us what they were going to be presenting tonight? I think he may have right before the meeting. You've got one anyways, right? Um. Yeah, well, I have one. Okay, but so I, you yeah. can scan. Yeah, if if, okay. if you don't have an email, I'll just scan it and send it as a as an FYI for okay. for Jeremiah and Warren. All right. All right. All right. Don't want to don't want to get blindsided. I don't want them getting blindsided. It's really Did not blindsided. We're done.